right, well, we are back in the saddle here at Launchpad Brewery, finally welcoming people back into the tap room, as we alluded to on the last show. It is the Launchpad liftoff from the uh, employee lounge here, the VIP lounge at Launchpad Brewery. He's Casey Bloyer. I am Connor Sharif. Happy to have everybody back in the tap room, but I'm not going to lie, it's been a little bit odd figuring out all those rules and regulations. Yeah, you know, it was uh, thank you to our members. You guys were awesome helping us kind of float those couple days, figure out how yeah. to get people in safely, adjust to everything. So, uh, but it's been a lot of fun and it's been great to see everybody back in the tap room. And boy, you guys. Yeah, sure showed up, so we're grateful for that. So Yeah, we've been at capacity on, I think, Friday night we were at capacity for a bit. Saturday night we were at capacity. Saturday. Day. Saturday, yeah, that's right. Um, and as we keep talking about, just rolling along, plenty new beers coming out this week. Yeah, absolutely. We got uh, one new beer coming out this week, uh, brewing a lot. But the beer that we will be releasing this week is Recovery Mission. So it's a beer that uh, Paul, Dave, and us here at Launchpad, we brewed uh to uh, help you out. You guys were so great to us during uh, COVID and the complete shutdown. Uh, what we did is we made a nice uh, crisp clean pale ale with all uh, Colorado grains. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is selling it here in the tap room for only $5 a pint. Uh, everybody will be able to get some. We made quite a bit of it. So come on in, enjoy a pint of it for five bucks. And uh, just a, that's a thank you from all of us for really taking care of us. And we wanted to do just nice clean pale ale and have everybody enjoy it. And, make it a nice affordable uh, pint. That's cool. As Dave talked about on last show, uh, trying to adapt to the new rules and just kind of figure out what we're dealing with, stuff is changing on a daily basis. Um, dogs are now allowed in the tap room, which wasn't one of the initial yeah. rules. Um, our capacity is 50, uh, essentially 50 people, but we want to keep emphasizing too, we've got a bunch of room outside Bring your lawn chairs, bring your camp chairs. We've had a couple really cool nights where people were just chilling out there. At one point, I think Kate brought a hammock. Yep. <laughs> it is a different environment than we're used to. Yeah, it's one of those things that we'd love to have you outside. Uh, we have the space to space people out. Yeah. Also, uh, Connor brought up the chairs, but also if you have an awning, you have a tent that you want to throw up over you while we have the uh, parking lot uh, area that we're using right now, feel free to bring that. We encourage you. We have no problem if you bring a tent and set it up. We are perfectly okay with that and actually look forward to that. So make sure you do that as well. So looking forward to that. Uh, we're, we are brewing a lot of beers this week. Lots going on in the brewing. Uh, Paul is brewing a rye doppelbach. He's doing a special uh, barrel aged beer that uh, more details on that to come. Also, we have piggyback is going to be in the rotation again. You guys tend to go through that quite a bit, so which we are very grateful for. And then also we're doing the, the base Soyuz uh, for the next release uh, uh, in the next month. So. Yeah, and you were talking about that recovery mission beer. Uh, we still have Colorado Strong here if you want to come pick some up. That 20% of the proceeds on that beer goes to the fund that was created by Left Hand and the Colorado Brewers Guild for you know those of us that were impacted. By, by the shutdown. Yeah, we have plenty of that, so make sure you check that out. Again, if you are watching Launchpad Liftoff and you are out of state, remember, there is a way for you to get Launchpad beer right to your door through beerdrop.com. They will make sure that they get beer toward to you from Launchpad. It's a great way to be a part of that. If you're in state and want to deliver your door, craftalley.com is another way for them to get beer for you. Uh, Saturday was great for us, the launch. Congratulations to NASA and do uh, SpaceX and everybody involved, uh, Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. <laughs> yep. I love that everybody just calls them Bob and Doug. It's so great. I'm like, it's like the McKenzie brothers. Hey, you hoser. So absolutely. So it's so great. And uh, we're just uh, proud to be a part of that. And then everybody was in the brewery. And again, we were sorry we had to turn some people away just the way the rules are right now. If, if it was up to us, we'd have as many as we can, but we understand uh, where we're at in the situation. So. Just want to make sure that you know uh, we appreciate everybody being understanding about yeah. that as well. So, uh, one more change in the tap room coming up. Uh, if you are inside the tap room now, we will all be serving out of glass pints again. We're back to glass inside. If you're gonna have your beers outside though, we are gonna continue with the plastic just because we don't want the breakage of glasses out there. I'm talking to you, Carl. And uh, also, they tend to walk away from our place as well yeah. if they're out there. So, yeah. but yeah, so we'll be back in glass pints in the tap room. The beer is just too pretty to serve out of plastic cups. It really <laughs> is. It really is. It, it did break our heart as well as yours. So, uh, but going to be a great here, week here at Launchpad, and uh, we are continuing to uh, adapt and move as well as you, and we're really grateful for that. So, uh, new podcast, Brewski Reviewski, is out. 
We posted it. Make sure you listen to that one. A whole lot of fun. Brewski Reviewski. Uh, you can find it on Podbean, iTunes, Stitcher, all those. Uh, so you get to hear a great interview with the guys from Downhill Brewing and Parker. It's a really funny podcast because you've got the idiocy that went on during that interview. And then you've got Dave Thibodeau basically giving a history lesson on Mexican dynasties. Exactly. <laughs> so, a little bit of everything. The dichotomy is just yeah. a little bit. So I, I, you get along with Dave. I get along with the <laughs> so, But hey, we're so glad to see all your faces again. Uh, come back in. Remember, Monday through Saturday, 12 to noon. Sundays, 12 to 7. But hey, until the next time, raise your glass. Cheers.